putting state-of-the-art CT scanners to work to diagnose lung cancer earlier than ever before. It's a new use for the scanner and makes treating the tumours easier, greatly increasing the chance a patient will survive. But it's expensive and critics say well out of the reach of many of the world's poor. This requires a lot of resources and we, as you know, we have limited resources in health systems and have to be very careful where to uh, allocate resources, where we have the best buy, the best benefit from it in terms of health gain in population. Another high-tech procedure offers promise for those with persistent high blood pressure. Low-power radio waves are used to interrupt specific nerves in the kidney. This has been shown to have a positive, long-lasting effect. It costs over $10,000, but promises to save millions in treatment costs over time. You don't really think about health care until you need it. But what happens when there's a crash at the gymnastics meet? Changes too in the accessibility of everyday health house. information. Health apps like this one offer free medical reference materials on a smartphone. Some, aimed at consumers, can even perform basic medical tests. Others, for professional use, offer medical workers, even those in humble settings, the ability to send and receive medical data. That type of mobile connectivity, especially in developing countries, is, uh, is absolutely invaluable. So you don't necessarily need the physician there in the moment. You're able to transmit data to maybe a physician that's off-site, essentially. A new generation of DNA sequencing machines are also set to transform genetic research. Analysis that once took weeks can now be done in days. Affordable tabletop machines now allow scientists to react to disease outbreaks and do research cheaper and faster. Advances too in the fight against malaria and other mosquito-borne diseases. They infect over 700 million people each year. A million of these sufferers die. Efforts to combat mosquito-borne diseases are being led by a new malaria vaccine. Trials in Tanzania are continuing with early results suggesting it protects at least half the children who take it. More controversial is the development of genetically engineered mosquitoes. Scientists hope the resulting breed will no longer be able to pass on the malaria parasite, saving millions of people from the disease. The rapid advance of medical technology is making once rare procedures increasingly available. But the real challenge is how to share these advances with all the world's population, both rich and poor, finding ways to improve the lives and the health of all. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.